I'm the starting goaltender on the most popular team in, in, in the world. I thought of myself when I was playing well as a general out there. It didn't matter who I was playing against, I was in control. I started having all these uh, thoughts. Maybe this is it. Maybe, maybe I can't do this anymore. Maybe I can't stay at that same level. But I wasn't going to tell my guys how weak I was. When you look at mental health, men struggle a lot. And men are struggling with all types of mental health issues from anxiety to depression. And these are all underreported and very common in men, but very, very uncommonly talked about. I remember Barry Melrose said after one game we lost at home and he's talking about our team and he goes, and even Kelly can play better. And instantaneously, in my head, I went, no, I don't think I can. You know, I think I've reached my peak. And then I went in a ditch in a hurry. Definitely very uh, lonely. I didn't really worry much about my team or my teammates. They're gonna figure it out. I was either gonna figure it out myself and keep playing, but I was about my family. I'm the guy, right? Gotta make the money, and you can't if you're broken. Men are the strong ones. Men are the people that people lean on. They support their families. It's really hard to admit your insecurities or your issues when people are looking up to you. Back in 92, 93, nobody's talking about it. No, no guys uh, that I could ever think of in the sporting world would ever share anything like that. Like, uh, you know, just all in, in your own head, trying to figure it out. Nobody knew. Donna knew something was wrong. I mean, you had to. That was a tough place. A lot of times people feel quite isolated, feel quite lonely, feel like they're the only ones, feel like they're alone, and don't know where to reach out to. Luckily for me, talk about good employers, Barry Melrose recognized something was going on. I wasn't uh, sugarcoating it. I was telling him that I thought I was done. You're supposed to be the starting goalie on a team in the National Hockey League that has Wayne Gretzky. You're supposed to be a good team. And the starting goalie doesn't think he can play. He doesn't think he can, um, he doesn't think he's gonna play again. I'm laying it on the line. It would have gone only one of two ways. They're gonna try and help me or quickly get rid of me. But they invested time. I think in a team situation, um, instead of seeing it as a weakness, it's see, if you can see asking for help as a way to make the whole team stronger, sometimes it, it's a really positive step. Over the course of a month, I dug myself out of a ditch and I was awfully proud of myself. I had gained so much strength in a year that I wasn't gonna allow myself to even think of being in that low spot anymore. I was, I was beyond that and I'm not going back because I didn't like it. In the end, I think it's what gives you strength is when you talk about your, your own insecurities, you become more human and it's twofold. Like when you reach out and when you start talking, you realize that many, many people feel the same way as you and the way that you think often is the same way that lots of other people think. Because I'm somewhat of a public figure, every single place I go, every single day, People come up to me, whether it's in a local coffee shop, they share a story, they talk to me about it, I get a text message, I get an email, I get a phone call from people. So this conversation is happening, happening every single day and it's not just in the sports world, it's everywhere. Please don't suffer alone. Uh, share your story with somebody and somebody's gonna listen. Mm -hmm.